Distillation is a purification technique based on boiling point differences commonly used in an organic chemistry laboratory. There are several types of distillation with the most common being simple and fractional distillation. How to set up your distillation. Simple distillation is used when a mixture has a relatively large difference in boiling point, usually by 70 degrees Celsius. Correct setup is key to a good distillation. To set up your simple distillation, add the mixture you wish to distill in a round bottom flask containing a stir bar or boiling chip. Clamp the flask securely above a heating source. It is essential to have a tight seal in the distillation apparatus. To do so, make sure to grease all glassware before assembling. Place the bottom of the distillation head into the neck of the round bottom flask. Attach the condenser to the horizontal opening of the adapter. Make sure that the condenser is oriented at a downward slope. This will allow the liquid to travel down the condenser and into the collection flask. Place a collection flask at the end of the condenser. A graduate cylinder or other collection container can also be used, but just be sure not to create a closed system. We do not want to be heating a closed system. That would be an explosion waiting to happen. Place the thermometer through the inlet adapter on the top end of the distillation head. Placement of thermometer is crucial. The thermometer bulb must be positioned at the bottom of the opening leading to the condenser to ensure accurate temperature reading. Next, connect the water inlet and outlet to the condenser. The inlet goes on the bottom adapter and the water outlet goes on top of the adapter. Now you may begin your distillation. For safety reasons, make sure to never evaporate all the liquid out of the original round bottom flask. But what is actually happening? The dancers in the white and orange represent the mixture we are distilling. The dancers in the white represent the desired compound with a boiling point of 80 degrees Celsius, while the dancers in the orange represent the contaminant and has a much higher boiling point of 200 degrees Celsius. As you hit the mixture, the molecules will begin to move faster and faster. It is not until when 80 degrees Celsius is reached that the white dancers will begin to vaporize and travel to the distillation apparatus to reach the condenser. The running water through the condenser will cool down the vapor, thereby returning the molecules to a liquid form. These liquid droplets will move down the condenser and fall into a collection flask. After some time, the mixture is purified. Simple distillations work well with liquids that have a greater than 70 degrees Celsius boiling point difference. But what about mixtures that contain components with similar boiling points? In this case, we would use a fractional distillation. The setup for this distillation is essentially the same as for a simple distillation. However, a fractionating column is added. The fractional column contains glass beads or steel mesh to create more surface area to cool, condense, and vaporize the mixture in several cycles. The distillation will begin as usual. Like mentioned before, the components in this mixture have similar boiling points. The dancers in white still have a boiling point of 80 degrees Celsius, while the dancers in blue have a boiling point of 105 Celsius. The molecules begin to vaporize as the system begins to heat. Since the white compound has a lower boiling point, they will start to vaporize first and move up the column. The white vapor will begin to cool as it travels up the column and condenses on the surface area of the glass beads. Some of the blue component will begin to vaporize with the white component. However, since the blue compound has a slightly higher boiling point than the white component, it will never make it all the way up the column. The rising hot vapor will reheat the condensed white compound on the beads allowing them to re-vaporize. This vaporization condensation process will repeat until the white compound reaches the top of the column and is condensed in the condenser. This cycle is called a theoretical plate. More theoretical plates mean better separations and pure components. This process takes a little longer, however, results in better separation.